Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 29 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we're still not finished with the Cathedral arc yet, and we're going to do it as Samson. So right now we have to do it as two more characters, Samson and Blue Baby. We're very close to assembling the Polaroid, which can give us access to the final chapter of the game, and it's a new trinket. It also has some significance. Wow, that was a bad hit in my part. Down to three hits already. Because these damn spiders. And here we get, ooh, Abel. So that's a new familiar we unlock just by beating the cathedral as Cain. And all it does is, like, practically mirror your position and shoots around the time you do. Two diamonds. That would only give me two cents if I use it right now. Nah, might as well just go and take on the boss at this point. No reason not to. Of course, it's going to mirror my movement diagonally, so to speak. Meaning that if I'm on the north side, Abel's going to be on the south side. So keep that, into, keep that into account, and hopefully you can get in a position where both of you can hit your enemy. It's not always going to happen. You could at least have Abel target the... Oh my god, the other enemies! Oh man, I lost my soul heart right away. Not even through the first floor yet. There! Fortunately, Samson only has one red heart. I better get an HP upgrade to even stand a chance. Instead, I get a tears up. Well, it could help. It'll make clearing some rooms faster, if I can shoot faster. But right now, I need a miracle. I, in other words, I actually need some keys, I need some bombs, I need some money. If I find a secret room with a lot of money, then I can use two of diamonds. So I will feel a little bit justified into doing so. I mean, picking up Abel was a pretty good pickup, in my opinion. It's a better familiar than some others. Like Brother Bobby, for instance. Well, then again, Brother Bobby can just go in the direction that you are, and you have a little bit more control. Let me take out this spider first. We'll do this. Let Abel do the work. Self-sacrifice room. I was actually not hoping for that. It's too bad Abel can't just go over the money and pick it up for you. That would be very nice. You know, of course, Abel is a reference to the biblical story of Cain and Abel. Like, Abel was getting more favor with his father and the Lord that Cain decided to kill him. Very nice family, if I must admit. Not that I would know, because I never really had that kind of experience with my sister that I want to kill her to, uh be the favorite, because then again, I was the youngest. Usually the youngest is the favorite. Well, not really. But in any case, let's just keep looking around. I might justify the blood bank if I can get an HP upgrade by way of the boss, or maybe finding gluttony nearby. Let's see what happens first. Ooh, super gluttony! This might actually pay out. Provided I don't take more hits than I'm trying to avoid. Sadly, Abel doesn't really have a mind of its own. If it did, it would have just gotten a little bit closer to the Super Gluttony and tried to do some damage. I mean, since its tears are so small, there's no reason to let Abel do the work. I gotta do it. Sadly, Super Gluttony doesn't spawn enemies, therefore I'm going to have to rely on base damage to get through this. But if I get an HP upgrade, the Blood Bank be worthwhile. Lard! Well, it's technically an HP upgrade. A big one at that. But it slows me down significantly. So I better hope for a blood bag to counteract the uh, slow speed. Let's see what happens. Come on. I better not use it any more times. If I take two hits now, it's over for me. Dodging will be a sore spot on unfortunately, due to picking up the lard. I was kind of hoping for another HP upgrade, but at least lard gives me two hearts to work with instead of just one. That's the only advantage of it. But now that I move slower, it's going to be a bit more difficult to get around. Ooh, Ace of Spades. I think I'd rather that than Safety Cap. If the item in this item room turns out to be PhD, I'm swapping for Safety Cap, that's for sure. But unfortunately, we'll just never know until we get there. I need to find the first key of this run. 
I actually had another Samson run for the Cathedral done previously, but I deleted that recording because it turned out a bit too slow. It got a bit framey at times. The only... Oh my god. Oh, I died! Well, that run was short-lived. Let's do another one. I mean, since the run died, like, just around four minutes or so, there's no reason to not do another run in this video. Oh, now I get a key! Thanks a lot, Troll Engine. At least you'll guarantee a key for me to use in the, uh, second floor. Unless I actually decided to use it here. Ooh, a dime, thanks. And here we get Scapular. Not really that great. But it could help with deal with the angel chances. If I turn down a deal with the devil or so. That is, if I want to. I should just go take on the boss first and then just go look around. I mean, the thing about that run that was a failed recording, I lost to Isaac, and the only new item I picked up was Little Chad. And that was actually against... That was with a demon judgment, not fighting Chad. I mean, all Little Chad does is... It's a familiar that doesn't attack and gives you red hearts. Probably mostly half red hearts, but it can help if you're not Blue Baby. If you're Blue Baby, then Little Chad is meaningless. So yeah, the run was a bit long, got a bit framey, slow at times, it was very annoying. And I didn't really have any incentive to keep the run because I didn't win. I lost to Isaac because I took too many hits by Eternal Bomb Leeches. They were pretty much a problem for me, even though I had Book of Revelations, I just had no way to get extra charges from it. But anyways, that's in the past, let's move on to other things, such as getting a speed upgrade. I NEEDED YOU IN THE LAST RUN, TOO! Things that I could have needed in the previous run, I'm getting now. What up with that? Oh, Demon Judgment. Well, since you take Red Hearts first... No reason not to take you. I only want to play Demon Judgment if I got some... Like a full Red Heart at my disposal. I don't want to give up any of my Soul Heart for that. Too bad I wasn't the green nub. Could have used you to get rid of that tinted rock for me. Well, right now, I pretty much gotta hope that a bomb drops. And if it doesn't, then it's pretty much a loss. That room was worthless. Oh, why weren't you in the other room? This is gonna become a recurring theme that things I could have needed in one room is gonna show up in another. <laughs> this is just gonna keep on happening. Hangman. Well, there are no pits nearby. So really, the hangman is meaningless. Wait a minute, there's money over there just for the boss room. I can just use a hangman to pick that up. I could probably go to the shop, too. I mean, I'm gonna have well over 15 cents. Oh, there's the bomb. That's something I could use. Thank you. Oh, wait, this is, that's the library over there. Here's the thing. Do I want to go to the library instead of the shop? That's gonna be a bit of a hard sell. But in any case, I suppose I can go to the boss room to pick up, like, half a red heart. Use the hangman here to pick up the money. Play Demon Judgment again, I suppose. And hope for the best. I might get an item out of Demon Judgment. Also, there are a couple places to look for the secret room. You don't pay out. Great. Oh, Notched Axe. I feel so... Robbed my dignity right there. I'll take the bomb. Well, I suppose I'll take Notch Dax. And I'll actually take the money. I mean, the health. Use that towards another Demon Judgment play, and I get nothing. I'd blow you up, but you're just gonna spawn spiders. Ho 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 ho! Yes! 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 Epic fetus! Thank you! Thank you! Remember Doctor's Remote that spawns like the nuke missiles? Imagine doing that every single time you shoot your tears. Hells to the yeah! Now Nosh Axe is redundant. But you know what? I'm not gonna complain because I got something a hell of a lot better. I think this is gonna guarantee my run to be a success. Provided I don't take too much stupid damage, I'm gonna win the day. 
Plus, I have no excuse to not find any secret rooms. Of course, I don't want to be anywhere near the nukes. Because, you know, nukes are obviously going to hurt you. Provided you still feel pain at that moment of impact. <laughs> but, getting some extra money will help towards the next shop. At least I got another key so I can see what's in the item room. Oh, to use notch jacks, you just hold it up, aim in the direction of the rock, or just walk over, apparently. And I mean the stone, not the Dwayne the Rock Johnson. But in any case, let's see if I can get a skeleton key. Nope, I just get unicorn horn. That's actually much better. <laughs> oh, yes! Epic fetus! Oh, this is gonna be a good run. Book it in, boys! This is gonna be rode off as a win. Now I can just look for the top secret room my own leisure. Nuke some poop. Oh god. Some rooms might still be an issue when it comes to like fast enemies. But I can still make it work. Liberty cap. Eh, no reason not to take it. Matchstick, I would kind of prefer. Even though I was hoping for an eternal heart in that here uh, top secret room that has trinkets. Alright. Let me try. Yep, that was good. Uh, I'm gonna take on the boss first. And here we got Duke of Flies. Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Like a fetus in a jar with a hat on, and it just causes so much death in its wake. Let's see what's this pill. Balls of steel. Man, this is just gonna get better and better and better. Book of sin, demon baby, nope, not interested. Well, that's gonna help towards Scapular's chances of paying out. I suppose I could just play around for some keys. I can get a free soul heart out of that. Well, wait, that, that fly can't even hurt me. But I suppose I do it in anyway. Alright, let's go back to the shop and see if we can get either another key or a good item. Because I'll swap out this unicorn horn if I have to. Actually, I should have just used the unicorn horn at the blood bank. Bum friend. Not interested, to be honest with ya. But I want to pick up another bomb. Let's see what this tarot card is. Oh, it's the moon. Seems kind of redundant, but I'll take it. But man, this is going to be very successful. I just gotta hope to stay alive, because right now I only got half a red heart. And that's kind of worrisome to me. So I'll play the unicorn horn just to milk the blood bank for what it's worth. Sadly, I only get like three uses or so. Okay, I'm done with it. Gives me some extra money. And I really have no reason to play the, the other one as well. So I'll get even more money. I'm gonna move on to the next floor, so that's why I'm nuking all this. Oof, that penny! <laughs> oh, this game just reads my mind sometimes. Sometimes for all the right reasons, and other times for all the wrong reasons. I just wish I, wish I picked up Flat Penny sooner. Because I could have checked out that gold chest. Well! That was interesting. Uh, the shovel. I'm only going to pick it up so it never appears again in this run. Because I would rather roll with my little unicorn than we need to go deeper. Ooh, red hearts. Yeah, if there's a demon judgment or a blood bank, I can use that to my advantage. But for now, at least we found both secret rooms. Curse skull, no thanks. Oh yes! Any room that can nuke greed heads instantly, or any item that can do that, is a win in my book. Of course, I'll have to aim it in advance for the damn spiders. Oh good, another key. Let's take on the boss. And it's peep. Won't even have to worry about the rocks! I can just blow them up! Of course, I'd rather deal with Peep than Rocks. Yeah! Well, Tears Upgrade doesn't really matter. Wheel of Fortune? Let's hold on to that for now. Because Magician is useless. There's no reason for me to keep that. 
Let's see if we can find some more money, and therefore that can equate to more keys. Wow, that's a lot of money in there. Damn, this is getting ridiculous. I'm not even sure if I'm playing as Samson, or this is Kane with a wig. I don't know anymore. This just feels too good to be true. Like the times that the game engine's been giving me a lot of bad luck, and now it's just giving me really good luck. Maybe all I need to do is just stop playing Isaac for a couple days, and then bam, things will get back up to sync. Is that really what it is? That I've been just playing Isaac a bit too much, that's just trying to troll me to stop playing? You know, just take a break from me, man, otherwise I'm just gonna keep giving you Celtic Cross, that never works! When you want it, of course. But anyways, it's going pretty good right now. At least there's no rocks here to guarantee that I can dodge these guys a little bit easier. And what's this pill? Range up! That doesn't really matter. Harlequin Baby will actually help out too. Actually, it doesn't seem to be working. Like, I'm aiming the tears. Do I have to actually keep holding the button? Okay, so you just have to hold on for quite a while when it comes to Epic Fetus. So Harlequin Baby may not be have a factor. Well, may not be a... Oh, dear. I better use you to over here. And let's see what this is. Oh, Rusty Key. Not interested. Oh, good. Oh, yes. Dropping bombs like the balls. Oh, dropping bombs. Like the balls, yeah. These guys are Pearl Harbor now. Oh my god, that was bad. I actually took a hit. I had disgraced myself. Next video, I'm gonna commit lives to Kuku because of that. Nah, just kidding. compass. Yes. Bombs right now are useless. So if I can get a Bombs are key pill at this point, I'll be happy. But what have I got to complain about? I practically have almost everything I could always want. Like a very overpowered item that's gonna take me over the top. I mean, what am I complaining about? I'll play you a few times. Right now, I don't really need much luck. More keys would be nice. Some good pills would be great. I've actually been getting lucky with pills so far. I'll play until I get to 25 cents, and then I'm just gonna nuke ya. You had your run. Give me a free key. That's nice. Curse Skull I'm obviously not going to take. Because if I was brought down to half a red heart, or no red hearts at all... Well, if you know about Curse Skull, you, you know what I'm talking about. Getting warped back in every single room. It's just gonna get tedious in a hurry. Especially if you're Blue Baby, it's gonna be super frustrating. Oh no. Yes, that actually worked out! I had to aim that right in the middle to get two with one stone. I, I can't bomb that over the pits, apparently. No, I can't. Just place the nukes in the good spot. Perfect. And in this item room, we got Loki's horns! So that's what tears up, and sometimes when you use your tears, they actually go in a cross position. I could be wrong. That doesn't happen all the time, though. Let's see what the mid-boss is gonna be. Oh, it's Gluttony. I thought your super form much earlier in a previous one, and we got an HP upgrade. That's beautiful. Oh, this run's gonna put a smile on my face and tears in my balls. Yeah. I might as well just use a regular bomb to play it safe. There. Self-sacrifice room. I'll just use the unicorn horn. And... Well... Um... Do I really want Guppy's tail? Let's go for it. I got lots of soul hearts. There's no reason for me to take the pact. Because the extra damage, I don't think it's going to be a factor when it comes to, like, a uh, nukes. Do you really need your nukes to be more powerful? It's like, well, I got nuclear missiles that rain anytime I want. But what if I could just give it a little bit more oomph? Why the hell do you need more oomph? You got nuclear missiles! An infinite supply! 
my god! First world problems up the ass! Still haven't found the top secret room yet. I have no excuse to not find it. I mean, I pretty much have an infinite amount of resources to do so. Now I'm gonna drop the soul heart, that's beautiful. And we got Steam Sale. To be honest, I'm not going to take. It's not worth it, really. If I got like a good supply of money that can keep dropping keys for me. Why do I need Steam Sale? Oh, there's the top secret room. Beautiful. Ah, eh, red arts I can't really use. So I guess we can just go on to the next floor. Well, first I gotta take on the boss. Oh, I Globins. They'll die rather quickly, too. Man, this is so beautiful. I keep asking for Mom's Knife Polyphemus. I think this is actually going to trump them. Well, most of the time. It's not always going to trump uh, Mom's Knife Polyphemus, but it does provide a significant advantage. I mean, it's going to make this run rather short once I get to Womb in Utero, because I have no reason to explore. I already have all the items I could want. Some extra HP would be very nice as well. Ah, an HP upgrade. You read my mind. Now let's see if I can get that deal with the devil back. Because I know that's where I want to use my judgment card. Aim for these silkworms. One at a time. Beautiful. And it's going to be Fistula. So this is going to be another easy battle. All I have to do is just aim in the right places. Pretty much how I describe my foreplay. Oh dear god. That's usually the one thing you have to worry about Fistula. Is that with these nukes, you're gonna be doing a lot of damage to anything around it. So you could be aiming at more than what you would have want. And I don't get my deal with the devil, but that's okay. I'll hold on to judgment for now. Or rather yet, I'll just use it here. No reason for me not to. Come on, Judgy. You can do it. You can pay out. Don't be shy. Come on. Why is it still playing the boss music? Come on, game. Give me what I want. Well, key's alright, but I already got plenty of keys. Oh, that's better. And the tarot card is the sun. Wow, that's a very good card. Come on. Come on. Come on. How much more money do you need? Seriously, you're like a gold digger. Now, I ain't saying Peck is a gold digger, but he ain't messing with no, never mind. Come on. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Really? For that? So, beggars are made out of incendiary devices. And here I was thinking they were people. With feelings. Anyways, let's just look around, see what we can find. I'll lure that money over here. Because you know, I am fabulous. With a monocle and an infinite supply of nukes. I'm high class. Monster Manual, Telepathy for Dummies. To be honest, I don't like either one of them. So, let's head for the item room first. All that use of judgment is going to make the shop a little bit more meaningless. Unless I keep getting nickels and stuff. That's actually very nice. Anything in the fire? No. Yeah! Give me keys! Keys! Yes! Glorious keys! I want all the kids in the world! To the point that skeleton key becomes meaningless. And this is not the way to the item room, surprisingly. Was it really hard left? This game has some very weird maps sometimes. But what else have I got to complain about? I'm practically set for life! Coin purse! No! I don't want any of these items, to be honest with ya. 
Yeah, free soul hearts. That kind of brings me a neutral, unless I was still flashing from the original walking of the curse room. Then I think I have a little extra. Maybe. That's meaningless. Let's move on. I think the secret room's gonna have greed. It's looking like a given so far. Uh oh. This is gonna be a very explosive floor to say the very least. Ooh, an eternal hurt. I can afford to keep it. No reason for me not to. What's this pill? Tears up. Doesn't really matter anymore. I don't think there's gonna be an arcade or anything. So why don't I just pick up the Eternal Heart? But if there is a Blood Bank, and if I use it, the Eternal Heart is gone. So there's a little bit of a risk to that decision. Like, I could be giving up my Eternal Heart in exchange for convenience here. Let's see, did I ever pick up this kill before? I think I did. Yeah, it was range up. Might as well take it. <laughs> Another range up. Doesn't matter! You and wow! Only really gave me an extra key. So really, I have no reason to go to the secret room if I want to take on greed or super greed, whoever it may be. So I have no reason to go there. I mean, what am I gonna get? Like steam sale, quarter, more money? I already got lots of money to make the next shop worthwhile because I didn't spend anything in the previous shop. This is actually looking like a very large floor. Did I fall asleep and find out this was a like Curse of the Labyrinth? No, I think this is Curse of the Lost. Yeah, it's gotta be like, if anything, probably Curse of the Lost. Because, well, really, it can't be Curse of the Labyrinth, there's only one item room. Alright, let's see what's in this item room. It better be good. And it's Bomb Bag. Kind of redundant, but... Oh, well. Ah, uh, you again. I've been good to you last time, even though I blew you up. So you better show me some respect in kind. Yes, I actually dropped a nuclear missile on him, and I deserve respect. That's not how it works, Bongo! How would you feel if you dropped a nuke on you? Well, not very good, but that doesn't matter. I got an HP upgrade! Yeah! Can you imagine if this actually happened in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth Remake? There's actually another boss that gets added, and that can drop nukes on you? Oh, the Joker card. Wait. Oh, this is the Sun. That's the Emperor. Might as well use the Emperor just to free it up. Oh my god, why did you spawn me there? At least I can get rid of the AIDS poop temporarily. But remember, Carrion Queen cannot eat those nukes. She can eat my regular bombs, so. though. But really, they don't even matter. Just watch out for the toxic. Oh, that was close. Get another HP upgrade. And here we get Guppy's Power Brimstone. I don't want to take either of those items, to be honest with ya. Joker card. Do I really want to take that for the Sun card? This is going to be a hard sell because both these cards are good. Oh, yeah, well, so much for seeing what the next item's going to be. Judgment. I think I'm just going to roll with the Sun card. I think I should have saved the Emperor card for the next floor, but I think I'd rather take the Sun card with me than the Emperor. I mean, what have I got to worry about finding the boss? I can survive floors rather well. Thanks to this setup. Guppy's tail has given me a lot of gold chests, which is actually pretty good because at least I got the keys to back it up. And here we get, oh, sack of pennies. Everywhere I go, bags are following me. Okay, I, I gotta stop singing here. It's like, they call me Mr. Jeeves Bags. Would that be a proper name or something completely retarded? <laughs> Mr. Jeeves Bags. That just sounds so weird. 
I'm Mr. Jeeves Banks, and I'm blowing up blood laser fists wherever I go because it's classy. I also have this weird looking fetus with duck face slips following me because she enjoys class. I'm dropping these bombs like a sir because it's a fun thing to do when well, I'm going to drop bombs on mom's foot once I find her. And then I'll zip out some crumpets over her wasted flesh and why did I pick up that bomb? Okay, I gotta stop talking like that because that's actually gonna hurt my throat. I really should think that if I'm gonna do like Jeeves voice that I gotta have like a pretty much an, an Atlantic Ocean with me to preserve my voice. Well, not really an Atlantic Ocean because salt water's gonna be bad for my throat. But you know what I mean. I hope. Provided I get as absolutely random as humanly possible. Oh my god. Okay, we actually survived that, even though I only took like one hit. I mean, come on, Bunga. Gets hit once, complains that he almost died. And another HP upgrade, so that brings me down to 7 hearts. Well, it brings me up to 7 hearts. Bring me down to 7 hearts? What is this, the opposite day now? These guys are the worst because they shoot so suddenly. And here we get pride. Down on two hits. Beautiful. I suppose I can use the world card. Oh, secret room is over there and I completely missed it. Huh, time for some backtracking, I suppose, because it's such a classy thing to do. To waste valuable time for these peons that are watching this video. Okay, guys, Jeeves, Jeeves bag, stop it. You're alienating my audience! Speaking of alienating, <laughs> this I don't want. We might as well just consider the Polaroid eventually unlocked, because if I lose here, with all these red hearts, with all these soul hearts, a sun card to back me up in case things get harrowing. I should just throw in the towel on this LP. Because I would have no excuse to lose here. But I'm still on the lookout for Mom's eye to see if I can get Mom's contacts unlocked. That's probably not going to help my success in any way whatsoever. So I might as well just leave. See if Judgment can pay out. Please don't drop another troll bomb right next to you. Let me destroy some of these rocks. It's getting kind of cramped. Ah, cherry curd. Well, don't worry, need if I got unicorn horn. Yum heart. Useless. Not gonna bother with it. Alright, there's mom. Let's pick up our last keys. Oh, wow, we got no keys for that. Oh, it's red mom. That's actually pretty good. Wow. I gotta drop the bombs in advance if I have any chance of hitting her. Like so. Get a good rhythm going. That's it. Whoa. Beautiful. Took a little bit more damage than I would have liked, but hey, I'm not even seeing my soul arts disappear. Okay, so this is... Oh, that's regular Monstro. I was getting a little disappointed thinking that was Monstro too, and then I realized that that's the living Monstro. And now it's a dead Monstro! Yeah! I suppose I can go to the self-sacrifice room. Just to see if I can milk it for an item. Not that I need the item for my success, but hey, Mom's Eye! There's still hope. Or at least a key, a red heart that I can't use, which results in more money. I mean, another cent and another key. I really have no incentive to do major exploring, oh my god, that I usually do in previous runs, because I'm already overpowered. So this run's just going to save a lot of time. It's not going to be my shortest run by any stretch of the imagination, because right now we're close to 35 minutes now. I think I had a run shorter than this, and that was actually at Isaac. Pinky eye. Meaningless. Secret room? Yes. 
I suppose I can look for secret rooms. There's no reason for me not to. Especially if they're in the immediate vicinity of where I'm at. Also, you know what's been happening frequently? Judgment appearances. That hasn't been going on a lot as of late, but now it's just... Very common. You might see like two in like adjacent rooms. And here we got Skolex. I don't know how I feel about using Epic Feats on Skolex. Okay, now I feel much better. It's like, almost without Skolex! Uses like a bunch of nukes and it's dead. Pageant boy, at least I didn't lose the monocle, which I'm very happy about. Okay, Utero 2, that's the way to the boss over there. Don't really want to take advantage of the boss trap room either. There's no reason for me to. I can just save a lot of time with a run like this. It's even going to make Isaac battle go really short as well. Some of these flesh rocks could be tinted rocks by disguise. Okay, two envies. I think it's worth using the unicorn horn. And, the, and only then can Harlequin Baby be really useful. Focus my nukes on the smallest ones. That's it. It's also opening up the arena just a little bit by bit. That's it. Beautiful. So this is not the way to the boss, it seems. See, that flesh-tinted rock has a soul heart in it. That's great news for us. I guess I have to go left to find the boss. So be it. Fish cake goes first. Meat wad. Meat wad. Beautiful. This is a recipe for success right here. Oh, dear God. Another range uphill? I'm happy with the success that I've been getting with pills, but none of them benefit me now. I can already go as far as I want with Epic Fetus, provided I get there in time. It's not going to delay how long it takes for the bomb to drop. Go! So yeah, this is... Oh man, I can't harp enough how well this one's gonna go. Well, sometimes that can happen. Place it just right, I can take out Mom's heart and the bosses or enemies at the same time. Like so. Whoa, that was actually a bit too close to me. Here we go, desperation phase. You can tell once it beats faster. Only thing I'm missing is just some flying. I could use a little bit of that. First world problems, you know. But it's straight to the cathedral we go. Curse of the Lost, beautiful. Not really, but... I got nothing left to lose. Let's speed this up a little bit. It's not like I'll be needing this for Isaac. I already got his death nail coming from above. Okay, so I'm guessing to get to Isaac, I'll go in this direction. Time to blow up some angel fetuses. This is the only video game I can say that and it would make sense. Eh, what the hell, let's look in the secret room, one up. Please, it's not like I'll be needing it. That's just how arrogant I am. Oh my god. Did I actually drop that right next to me? In the midst of blowing up that rock? I can be a bit of an idiot sometimes. But I'll blame it on the lower class because that is what we do. Take away all their privileges so I can make up for my stupidity! Never even needed to use the sun card to just use an instant map. Oh god. My brothers! How's it going? These guys are like family to me. And now is the epic conclusion of... of mo Is it Jeeves Moneybags? Or Jeeves Bags? I, I, I can't remember his name now. But I know it's supposed to be like a high class. 
mean, look at this. And since I'm firing a bit slower, that shot's me to dodge. Oh, yep, so we pretty much got the Polaroid unlocked right now. I'll still have to do the Cathedral as Blue Baby, but since I'll take the Polaroid with me, I can actually start the final chapter with Blue Baby in the exact same run. That's actually very good. So, yep, consider this run a success. It's been a success the very instant I picked up uh, Epic Fetus. So now we got Bloody Penny unlocked, the Polaroid is unlocked. And there we go, the run was a success! So I might consider doing the purest run for Isaac, you know, the 10th challenge that I haven't done yet. But we'll see. In the next part, obviously, we'll probably go for either the purest run or play as Blue Baby with the Polaroid. See ya.